Hey everyone, French Tutor here. Zenless Zone Zero is finally out and you could get yourself a guaranteed 5 star standard banner character with the current rewards they are giving out and events. You'll get about 50 standard pulls, including the store, which I'll show you how later. Before we get started, just a few disclaimers. I'll be explaining things with PC controls, but you can still pretty much follow along on mobile. And finally, don't forget to like and subscribe if this video helps you out. Okay, now let's get right into it. First, play out this cutscene. Then pick an MC and click Confirm. Play out the next cutscene. Play out the next cutscene too. The next cutscene is your first skippable one. Click the top right menu, press Skip, and Confirm. Play out the next cutscene. Spam right click and dash to the right. Now line up the enemies and keep attacking or right clicking the enemies until you defeat them. Dash right and up north to the next area. Stick to your right and repeat the process and line up the enemies. You will eventually unlock your special attack so press E to use it once. Finish off these enemies with basic attack and save your next special attack for the next wave. Line the enemies up again and use two special attacks to finish them off. Skip this next cutscene. For the next tutorial, keep spamming attack or left click to continue. Click anywhere and then press E or click the highlighted icon on the bottom right and press left or right mouse click immediately to switch characters. Keep basic attacking the enemy and go to the right and then go left. Press spacebar to continue. Press spacebar again to switch back to ambi. Line up the enemies and finish them off with basic attacks and special attacks and switch into Billy when it prompts you. Now just keep repeating this process for 3 more waves of enemies. On the third wave of enemies, click anywhere and press Q to use your ultimate. Try to use Billy's since it has a wide AoE to clear the wave. Skip the next cutscene. Play out the next cutscene. Now you'll enter a boss battle. Press spacebar or the bottom right icon to do an assist right away and then left mouse click or basic attack to follow up. Click anywhere. Now keep attacking with a mix of basic, special, and chain attacks but always look out for a golden prompt from the enemy and press spacebar anytime for assist attacks which will make this fight go by much faster. Play out the next cutscene. Skip this cutscene. Immediately right click once to dash and press F to open the door. Dash forward to Nicole and press F. Skip this cutscene. Press escape or click confirm. Go to the computer on the right and press F. Click on the left where it says story and keep clicking to skip the dialog. Click where it says story again. Click the bottom right where it says next. Then click select. Then click deploy. Wait out this long cutscene. Skip this cutscene. Now click the top left fast forward button. You will have to channel through some TVs by pressing the direction you want to go to. Use either WASD or the arrow keys to move and keep left clicking to skip through any dialog. Press escape or click the top right X. Go right and click next and press escape. Go right once and go up and go right to some gold coins. Then left once and head down to enter a cutscene to fight some monsters. As usual, line up the enemies and use your entire arsenal to bring down the enemies. Try to look for golden prompts and use the most assist attacks as possible as Billy to hit all the enemies. As soon as the battle is over, go to the top left and press fast forward again. Go to the right. Keep going to the right. After the dialogue, go up. Go left and click through the dialogue. Pick the first option and pay the gear coins. Go straight down and right and then click continue. Now another boss fight. Same plan, try look for golden prompts while you're attacking for assists. Later, some more enemies will spawn but keep attacking the boss over and over. The other monsters will also proc golden prompts so use that to do more assists. Wait out the next cutscene. Skip this cutscene. On the bottom right, click complete. Skip this cutscene. For these kinds of dialogues, leave your mouse cursor a little bit top right from the dialog box so that you can quickly click on dialog choices and skip. Keep spamming mouse click. Press confirm on Nicole's window. Turn around and click right click once to dash and press F to open the door. Now go left and press F. Go right and talk to your sibling. 
Click or spacebar through the dialog and press E. Enter a username for yourself and click register. Click through the dialog and click on the highlighted commission. Press escape and go to the top right internet level. Click through the dialog and click claim all and press escape. Skip the dialog. Press escape. Dash back outside to the exit and press F. Wait out this cutscene. Skip the dialog. Head towards the red exclamation point to a little newsstand. Keep your cursor on the bottom left and keep spamming left click. Once a card pops up, hold left click and scratch off the entire area like a scratch off until you reveal a new image. Press escape twice to exit. Skip the dialog. Turn around and dash towards the noodle shop. Skip the dialog. Press escape. Now go left and go down the road and go right at the end to find Susie. And press F. Play out the cutscene. Skip this cutscene. Press the top left highlighted icon and keep clicking the highlighted icons. Press escape continuously until you are out of the menus. Skip the dialogue. Press escape. Dash back and head back to the video store to the red exclamation. Go back up the road. Enter the door and press F. Go forward and press F through the door and go right and talk to your sibling. Skip the dialogue. Now you finally unlock summoning. Press left out. And then click on the top right or press F4. Click through the tutorial dialogue. Click the bottom right highlighted icon. Click anywhere to skip and press escape to exit. Now you can freely summon for characters with 20 pulls plus more free pulls at the store but I don't recommend summoning just yet, and here's why. If you play the game more, about 30 more minutes, you will get 20 more pulls, which will guarantee you a 5-star standard character. Also, you get almost no event banner pulls right now, which makes it harder to reroll. Also from my experience, I think the odds feel extremely low, or it feels as if you cannot get a 5-star on the banner at this point in the game, so you should continue playing. Just do everything I taught you in this video for about 30 minutes more, which isn't too bad. You have to play until a certain point in the story, and you will be at around Internaut level 8 and unlock the Events tab. Also, make sure to claim the pre-registration awards. Press Escape, and then to Mail, and then Claim All on the bottom left. Now when you're ready to pull, know that every 10 pulls will be discounted to 8 on the standard banner, so go for all your pulls. And then you'll get some residual and fading signals so you can get more Master Tape, which is the standard banner currency. Go to the signal shop on the bottom left. Go to master tape and purchase one or more if you can. Then on the top right, click fading signal and get more master tape and then try doing more pulls. Thank you very much for watching. I would like to know, which standard banner character are you rerolling for and why? Let me know down in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care now.